we know very little. So one of the goals of your life really should be to continue learning because we know maybe 5%, 10%, and we should aim for a little bit higher. Now, medical studies, medical sciences are not really always hardcore biology or natural sciences. Medical profession, one of the most wonderful professions there is, is also about feeling how things work and what is wrong with the patient. So the nose, the ears, the heart, the soul all play a major role. And of course that part is much less science than we very often like to think. Now, it's interesting to note that the endeavor to find out new things, also in medicine, is called science and or research. What is the difference between these two words? Science indicates that we know. Research indicates that we actually research something because what we search already exists in nature. So we simply are searching for finding what is already there for many, many thousands, if not hundred thousands of years. And this is, of course, one of the most satisfying activities to learn how things function, to learn why, particularly for a disease, why certain things may not properly function. Now, in science, we distinguish between making an experiment to find out how things work. But on the other hand, we always must work against our own ideas or biases or results and find out why these results actually may be wrong. And the paradox of the situation is that it is almost impossible to be sure that a research result is right. It is much easier to demonstrate that a research result actually is wrong. This sounds a bit pessimistic, but when you do your diagnostics, you also want to be sure not put on a wrong diagnosis because if it's wrong, you do more harm than good to the patient. And therefore, to be questioning your thinking, our results, our experiments, our observations all the time is one of the key essences of, um, of medical activity. Tomorrow, you will leave this institution and go out treat patients. Remember that science, of course, is important to remember, to know what new therapies, what new pathways of disease have been discovered, but also remember, despite all the science and despite all your knowledge, there is one thing that always is correct. The patient always is right. If the patient says he hurts, 
or he has a problem and you don't see it, then it's the patient who is right and not the doctor. And from that point of view, I think clinical research, even out in the hospital or in the practice, is simply observing disease and do the best with your knowledge, with your capacities, with your passion to help the patients. Now, I also have a few wishes for you. To be a doctor is an enormous responsibility, and you have just heard from your present that there are many aspects to this responsibility. But that also tells you, as doctors, we have to be even more decent than everybody else. We have to be even more friendly than anybody else. We should respect the patient even more than anybody else. And we also should respect society because after all, it has been society that has enabled us all to study medicine and go through this enormous investment of education to become a medical doctor. Now, of course, we must work hard, because there's an American saying, the harder I work, the luckier I get. You can interpret this in various ways, but to work hard not only shows respect for the ill and sick people, it also, I think, brings respect to society, because society has enabled us to do what we know and what we do now. Let me finish with a few more remarks. I think to be a doctor is the best profession you could have possibly chosen. Of course, I'm biased because I used to be one myself. But do not stop asking questions, because we know very little. And do not stop feeling passions for your patients, because they will be grateful if you do a good job and if you apply your knowledge wisely. And I think I wish you now all the best for your future years as practitioners, as surgeons, as specialists, and hope very much indeed that you will contribute not only locally, but also nationally and internationally to further improve medical knowledge, but not only knowledge, also medical practice. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.